In this video, I will show you how to model uh, this kind of shape in Revit. In this project, I use the architectural template for that one. Okay, before we go straight to the tutorial, I would like to ask you everyone, if you are new in this channel, don't forget to like, share, or subscribe. So you're always updated once I make a video or tutorial like this. Okay, first thing I will do is to command units for the this project. Okay, UN for the shortcut. And again, RP for the shortcut for the reference plane. And I rename it into 1 and 2. Okay. Something like that. And after that, you go to South Elevation. And now, I use the component here. Just simply pick this and choose the bottom option for that one. And I just use the mass for this project. Okay. And now, I choose the reference plane one. And I just simply place a point here. Okay. And place a point in the top like this okay okay let's say this 20 okay so i use the point element to the to draw this one because uh, this is uh, more of there's a lot of option here to make uh, some smooth uh, design in revit Okay, so that's why I use the point element for the some adjustment for more smooth to this design. Okay, and now I just simply go to spline through points. Okay, and I simply place a point uh, like let's say here, here, and here. Okay, simply move this like this. Okay. So now once you have this, okay, window it on this point element, okay, to make a spline or to create a spline and again in the bottom like this, okay. So now once you have this, go to level 1 and I simply command copy for the shortcut, cut, copy, multiple, okay, and I just simply drag it like this, okay. So now once you have this, okay, go to 3D and modify it like this. delete it this way okay so this is the shape uh, what I want to this project okay and now it all like this and create form so 
see all this working like this okay so in this project i use the generic model adapted for this one so we have two the horizontal one and the uh, vertical one okay i just simply make an overview first for that one but i need to set this markup first okay i hit the tab okay i simply pick this hit the tab to select this okay divide surface and go to surface representation sorry and notes like this so if you count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 so 13 means generic model adaptive we need a 13 points for that one okay i just simply make a overview first okay i just go to file new family okay and generic model adaptive for that one and go to reference line and just simply place a point 13 like this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen okay and now simply window if this one change it into make adaptive and go to each line so like this okay and create the napasad uh, now for that one okay so because uh, we have already but this is the setup okay so we cannot make a long time so this one i simply close this okay and i go to file okay new or open okay family and I just choose my one okay okay so this is the one very simple okay and now I just load this into project okay okay 3d okay and I just go to create okay and now I simply pick this one every point element here okay and go to repeat so this is our facade already okay you can adjust it okay This is the one okay this is uh, in the middle direction okay so that is my uh, model adaptive one okay so now I just simply uh, so load and close okay so already okay and now I just simply go to file okay open again and I just choose now the horizontal one for that one okay that is only the shape okay generic adaptive okay so I want to create a new one here okay so no any confused okay I go to back like this and go to set okay and pick a plane and pick this one here and now I just simply draw a rectangle in this uh, let's say I think this is two okay here and create form solid form okay so now once you have this okay hit the tab Okay, I want to normalize this one. Okay, go into the visible and I just simply add a parameter here. Okay, so this is already the on or off. Okay, and now I just simply choose this. Okay, and I just 
uncheck the reference line for that one okay and as it will load into project like this okay and i go to 3d okay and i just simply pick first this one okay and hide temporary so i can see the all of the point element here so now i go to create component and i just simply draw or place the once you have this okay simply pick this okay and go to clip okay so if you see go she's going in the outside okay and now go to repeat like this okay so if you see there is some shape or like a gear over here to our project okay and now once you have this okay the trick the tips here is to go here okay or select all of this one and go here into edit and if we will uncheck this on and off apply and hit ok okay so only the line we can see it on so we can hide and off for that one and i just simply unhide this or reset and uh, temporary hide the uh, isolate okay and now what i'm going to do is to simply pick this okay and now i go to edit type and check this on or off apply okay so this is our design already okay this there is some facade okay wood facade here in our project okay so this is the view of this one okay so what i'm going to do now is to remove the repeater here okay and of course this is uh, a lot of passion uh, so what i'm going to do is delete it one by one by for the shortcut de okay so we already uh, finished in this tutorial is how to make a passion in Revit using the adaptive uh, generic model adaptive okay so i hope that uh, everyone can follow this kind of step and thank you to all of you please don't forget to like share or subscribe so it's helped me out a lot and you're always updated once i make a video tutorial like this okay